We continue tracking Hurricane Delta in Louisiana under a state of emergency, bracing for landfall likely on Friday. About 60,000 people along the Gulf are getting ordered out. The hurricane hit Mexico first, though the damage is not as bad as many feared. In Cancun tonight, there are many fallen trees and broken windows, but no reports of deaths or injuries. The 11 o'clock advisory on the hurricane is out. Let's check in with Craig Setzer. Craig? Elliot, the good news last night was that we had a weakening delta coming on to shore there in the northeast Yucatan Peninsula. Unfortunately, tonight we have a strengthening hurricane delta. Winds are up now at 90 miles an hour. The pressure has started to fall and it's moving to the west, northwest at 17. It's a little bit of a lopsided storm this evening. Most of the strong winds, tropical storm conditions, northwest through northeast through southeast. The southwest side doesn't have as much storminess with it. Hurricane warnings now up for much of the Louisiana coast. There are tropical storm warnings bordering that and storm surge warnings as well for significant storm surge. Now, this is going to come across an area that's already saw a hurricane this year. Hurricane Laura, which was Category 4 as it reached the coast there, south of Lake Charles. That was late in August, right before we got into September. And unfortunately, that is going to be the case. Folks that have already dealt with the hurricane look like they're going to deal with another one. Very, very strong confidence in the models. This is going to be the track. And you can see Category 3 here. This is Friday morning. That's Friday evening, making landfall, reaching the coast there, and then weakening as it goes to the north. So certainly not a good situation there for folks that are still trying to recover. Here's the way it looks tonight. You you can see it's looking a little bit more impressive on satellite. Big circulation. The center and the core is getting a little bit better organized. Thankfully, it is not going to bother us, and there are no tropical threats to South Florida. I'll be back with a look, more look at uh, Delta and our local forecast coming up.